Hey everybody, let's go out and starve for three days and make a video out of it. What's going on YouTube fam? Mikey here shooting another high adventure video. The finger, the phalange of high adventure has been activated. We are getting ready to go out and do a little solo survival challenge. But first, we're gonna grab our final meal before we start. So I thought a lot about like where do I want my last meal? And I'll be honest with you, the first thing that jumped in my mind was Zaxby's. I was introduced to this restaurant when we got here, uh, when I moved to South Carolina actually, and it's basically kind of like Chick-fil-A uh, with more options, I would say. And much like Chick-fil-A, they're always busy. So you're Jesus, can I help you? Yes, ma'am. I'm gonna take uh, five of your boneless wings and a meal, please. No, I'm gonna do... I'm gonna do a Dr. Pepper, please. Anything else? Um, you know, I think that's everything. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I love their boneless wings. So good. Mwah. I have a boneless wing meal, 7 dollars Awesome. There's eight. Okay. Thank you. you. You're welcome. I can already smell the sweet aromas wafting out of the drive through window. Oh man, thank you. Yes, you too. Yes. I've got to drive to my fishing spot, but I just want to smell. Oh, yes, that smells so good. Oh, I am excited. All right, we got to get to our fishing spot because I don't want to eat while I'm driving because that's not safe driving practice, ladies and gentlemen. Remember that, kids. Let's get there, enjoy this final meal, and then get this challenge underway. All right, we made it. All right, that was like a 25 minute drive. I'm hungry. Ah, savor it, ladies and gentlemen. Savor it because, well, hopefully if we're lucky, we're getting ready to eat a lot of fish over the next 48 hours. Every bite's just a little piece of heaven. I literally have no food with me. I've got not zero, zilch, nada. I didn't pack any extras. I don't have snacks in the car or the truck. Like, what I'm eating here is it. And then we're gonna be relying on our fishing prowess to feed our bellies here for the next couple days. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there's the final fry. Mm. So haters won't say it's fake. September 23rd, 1232 PM. It is a Thursday, meaning that not until Saturday at 1232 can we have regular food. So I almost feel like there's a little sense of urgency now. It's like, that was our last meal. Now we have to go get our next meal. So let's not waste any time. Let's go ahead, get out there. Let's go ahead and get everything set up and start looking for that next meal. Guys, I think we're ready. I think we have everything packed up on here. Good grief, I'm actually kind of surprised I was able to fit everything on here. Let me show you guys our setup here. All right, check this out. I always have people ask me every time, this is the Hobie Mirage Outback, the 2020 version. And as you can see, just absolutely gobs of storage space. We even have a little compartment up here that we have stuff in. There's another compartment down here. Obviously you have the pedal drive as well. That is awesome for when you're fishing and trying to move around. Um, I mean, <laughs> we've packed pretty much everything except the kitchen sink. The kitchen sink might be in there actually somewhere. It wouldn't surprise me. We're all packed up. Let's go ahead and shove off. We are heading out to a little island right out that way. That's where we're gonna spend the next 48 hours. But let me show you guys our setup once we get out there. Let's go ahead and shove off and get out and get this challenge underway.
Okay. First thing we're gonna do is unload this stuff. I feel like we got lucky getting all the way over here without anything falling off. These are here. Oh guys, check this out. Look at this. Well, that's a big old catfish head. Just a massive catfish head. That's probably like a probably a 10, 15 pound catfish right there. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. These are my supplies. That's what I'm gonna be using. Let's go take a look here. Oh, check this out. Somebody's camped here in the past. So a lot of these islands, it's pretty common for people to come in the summertime and just like hang out on the islands. And uh, so it doesn't surprise me, like somebody's obviously been like trying to burn this. So hopefully we can scrounge up some more wood because I'm gonna need it. Obviously we got plenty of trees, so I'm thinking we should be okay that way. Something else worth noting is that it's gonna be a lot cooler the next few days. It's gonna be like mid 70s, maybe upper 70s if we're lucky. Um, we just had a cold front move through and that does worry me a little bit for trying to catch fish. Um, we've gone from like upper 80s to mid upper 70s. So hopefully that doesn't throw the fishing off. What I'm kind of hoping is, is this cooler weather. You know, this, this lake has been so hot that now that we're getting some cooler weather, that uh, maybe the fish will start to turn on a little bit more here than they have been when this lake is like typically like a hot tub in the summertime. All right, guys, we're gonna get right to it. Here are the rules for the next 48 hours. All this stuff that you see right here, this stuff is stuff that I've had subscribers sent me. I've peeked inside some of these boxes. I haven't really thoroughly gone through, but this is what we have to catch our fish on. I do not have my own fishing stuff. I left my entire tackle box at the house. I am relying on you guys to help me catch and cook and eat and survive for the next two days. So no pressure. And if we fail, basically blaming my subscribers. <laughs> Probably not the best way to try to get more people to subscribe, but you know, whatever. Okay, there are two other things. Number one, I'm sure a lot of you guys saw, I brought water with me. I did not bring coffee. I did not bring Gatorades, anything like that. Like I tried to cut anything out that might like be able to stifle hunger. I did bring water though, so sue me if you think that's cheating. <laughs> anyway, also I did bring for cooking, I brought oil. I did not bring butter. I just bought straight canola oil. That way we can cook our fish. Also, the last thing is that I have to eat only what I catch with the stuff you guys gave me. But if I can catch something with the stuff you guys gave me, I am allowed to use that as bait. So like if I can catch a bluegill with whatever you guys gave me here, I can then cut that bluegill up and try to use it as bait. Now, again, though, I have no terminal tackle. I didn't bring sinkers. I didn't bring, you know, big, uh, uh, big circle hooks or anything. I, so like, if I can use something like that, if I get something like that, like I gotta use whatever you guys gave me if I wanna try to like throw it out on the bottom. So we're gonna go ahead and start with this bag right here. Got a note in it. Let's see who this is from. Hey you, hope this package finds you well. It's just some of my favorite lures and soft plastics that I enjoy using to catch new those new mexico fish i hope you get to test them out also i included a new mexico trout sticker oh hope you have a wonderful birthday this is a happy birthday stay safe and tight lines tisha key tisha long time subscriber tisha thank you oh look at that new mexico trout sticker oh my look at this guys i got all kinds of stuff in here let's see oh man okay yeah that, that we're cooking holy cow Look, we got, it's called Euro Tackle. I've got grubs. I've got, oh, check this out. I need this. Look, Micro Finesse Tungsten Soft Lock Head. Oh, we got some other things. What do we got? Oh man, look at this, Euro Tackle. A Micro Crankbait. Oh my heavens, look at this. A Micro Popper. Oh, I've never seen a top water that small before. Suspending Micro Jerk Bait. Good grief. Another micro popper. Holy cow. Tisha, like, I might be able to survive on this bag alone. Holy cow. Tisha, thank you so much. That, that is awesome. That, that, this got my spirits picked up. Now, this is one from Doubt. Doubton sent me this, like, this past winter. And I've used a few of these baits already, but I saved a lot of this. So, hey, Micah, I have been watching your videos for a long time now, and I follow your Instagram. Thanks, Doubton. Doubton, thank you. Holy cow, guys. Doubton, 
That one's got me hooked up as well. Check this out. There's some stuff in here. We've got hog wild bait holder, a teardrop lure. This is catfish stuff right here. And there are catfish, plenty of catfish in this lake. Dude, check this out. We got a mini chatter bait. What do we got here? Garlic night crawler super gel. That's got like major catfish implications on it. Oh, and check this out. We've got, oh, I like this fireball. This is like a like a power bait type stuff. Oh no, it's not that at all. Look at that. They're like miniature eggs. They're like eggs in there. Oh guys, Dalton man, this this might get me some bait in order to try to get bigger fish. Look at that. We got some classic spoons. Classic spoons. Dalton, thank you, man. I'm I'm feeling good now. I'm feeling good out here. Now I haven't even looked in this box yet. First off, we got a little something here from Desmond. Hello, hi adventure. I've been watching for a year, I think. These lures are a thank you for the content. Thank you, Desmond. He says I should come fish in Maine. It's very good, Desmond. I might take you up on that. Oh, dude, we got, we got, look at this. Oh my, you check this out. That, that's gonna get some attention right there. Look at that spinner. Oh, we got a small jerk bait as well. Check that out. Mini jerk bait. We got like a lot of small lures that are gonna mimic a lot of like the bait fish that we got here. Desmond, thank you so much. And then, oh my goodness, look at this box. Okay, before we get to the note, check check out what I got. Look at that, that Lunker Hunter spider lure. Holy cow, I haven't fished with one of those before. Hey Mike, I hope you enjoyed the box of goodies. Just thought I should give you a little something to say thanks for all of the knowledge you've given me and for all the great content. Your number one fan, Mason. Dude, you're a sick picture of a trout on there too. Look at that. Mason, you got some skills, bro. He sent me some Shields Outfitters Southern Style Seafood Seasoning. Oh, wow, Desmond. Good grief. We got like another like chatterbait. I don't, I've like never really fished with chatterbaits before. Check out this bad boy though. I don't think I've seen a crankbait that's quite that flashy. And it's a miniature style one too. Look at this Bass Pro Shops flukes although it came with a couple of big hooks i have no other hooks i have no other hooks besides the little jig head hooks and now these right here so this not only for the flukes but like if i want to try to do some catfishing later like that's all i have if you guys want to send me stuff i have um a, an address in the description below in all of my videos it's a p.o box you can send stuff there now this does not have lures in it but it's got something else first we've got an awesome card. Look at that. Frank's a lot. It says Frank's a lot for being so wienerful. Wow. <laughs> That's awesome. It says we appreciate you, Mike, and all your wonderful videos. It is nice to be able to sit down as a family and watch all of your shenanigans. The Garner family. P.S. Since you love the Arizona dreaming seasoning so much, we decided to send you a variety this time. All right, let's check out what we got. What we got. Oh my heaven. Then we have Cajun Barbecue 3000. Seasoned salt, Galena Street, chicken and rib rub. Holy cow, guys. We have those sizes. We got some more here. We got some more. What do we got? We got, oh, we got like little packets of them too. We had one last one here. I got three seasoning. Goya adobo. I believe that's how you pronounce it. All purpose. This one's a lemon pepper, a lemon pepper seasoning. This one's with pepper and con pimente. I don't know, I don't speak Spanish, but I think I nailed that. This is another Goya adobo with cumin, con cumino. Three seasonings that a subscriber sent me. Now, I want to mention this. There was a guy who sent me these. Now, there was a note with this that told me who this was from. However, somebody who we won't name, but might have been my child, might be about two years old, got into my office and might have wrecked a little havoc in my office and I could not find the note that came with these seasonings. And so I want to tell the subscriber, I apologize, man. I remember, I'm, I'm like 98% sure it was a guy. Dude, I'm sorry, I don't have your name, but please comment below. I'll show you some love in the comment section. I apologize, I'm gonna blame my two year old. He got in, he loves throwing stuff in the trash can. We've had to pull like, like toys and stuff out of the trash can. Anytime something's missing, the first thing place we go is the trash can because we taught him how to throw stuff away and now he just throws everything away. Man, guys, much love. Thank you. We are, we are set. 
that's what we have. That is what we're going to be fishing with and cooking with for the next two days. So you guys can see, just absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. I think the first order of business is we're gonna go ahead and get our camp set up here, get the tent out, and then I think it's time to start to exploring the island and getting some fishing lines out. All right, guys, anything you want in this video, I'm gonna try to cram the description below full of all the links like this tent, pretty much anything else you see, cooking stuff, merchandise, high adventure merchandise. It'll all be in the description below. I'm gonna have to use a rock because I've got like all these stakes, but I've got nothing to hammer them, hammer them into the ground with. Nice little pup tent. Perfect for what we need. This is just purely for sleeping and trying to keep away from the bugs. Check it out. Brought an air mattress as well. You know, I think this is gonna fit in there. I, I forgot to check if it will. I brought with me this portable power station. Mainly I brought this to be able to charge all my batteries and stuff while I'm out here filming. Oh, whoa. But then also, I could blow up an air mattress out here too. That sure beats having to blow it up with your mouth. Holy cow. All right. <laughs> Yeah, it fits, technically, but uh, there's not a lot of room for anything else. <laughs> oh my. Um. Ah. 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 Well, it's actually not terrible. Um, I'm about eight inches off the ground. I mean. I mean, the air mattress is awesome, don't get me wrong. However, there's not a lot of clearance between me and the ceiling. I guess it's better than just sleeping on the hard ground. The other nice thing about like having a small pup tent is that it'll keep the heat in, especially like tonight, it's gonna get like 50 degrees, which, okay, for comparison, recently, it's been like 72 at night. So like, you don't even need a blanket at 72, but now 50, eh, it's getting chilly. Maybe we'll take a little afternoon siesta here. No sleeping. Can't be sleeping. We gotta we gotta work on getting food next because I have no idea what's for supper or even if we're gonna be able to get supper. So that's this next task at hand. Let's do this. Whoa. Here we go. Alright, time to go explore our island here. I do have this with me. It is for gigging snakes. That is the only thing I can use it for. It's kind of like my protection against potential snakes on these islands, because they definitely have them on here. Bunch of little minnows right here, just a little pot of them. Got some lay down right out here as well too. That's good structure. We could fish that in the mornings. And in the evenings, bass would come up and hold up around that. And this water's just super clear. I'll bet visibility probably about seven eight feet well this this tree goes way out this would be another good piece to fish early in the morning run some top waters along this there'd definitely be some potential bass holding along that got this big lay down right here all this looks really good for like morning time top water fishing i think these bass would be cruising these shallow areas Oh, check this out, grasshopper. Little grasshopper in the water. Oh, holy cow, that was quite the jump. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna throw him out there. See if anything eats it. Oh, something just ate it. Oh wait, no, no, it missed him. It missed him. Oh, yeah, there it is. Something's after it. Oh. Guys, I'm thinking maybe one of those micro top waters. I'm gonna check this out, check this out. More remains. Don't know what kind of fish that would be actually. I don't know what that is actually. I'm not terribly sure. Is that even a fish at all? It's a good reminder that something's picked that clean. I see some bones scattered over there and over there. We're not alone on the island. Guys, there's a snake, a snake. Just saw a snake, there he goes. There's one right here. Where is it, where is it? Where'd he go? Shoot. It was just sitting along the bank right there. 
I just came around the corner right there, and all of a sudden, there was thrashing in the water. And I was like, wait, I know what that is. And I saw him just, just screaming off super fast. That sucker was fast. Man, he was fast. It was pretty dark looking, so I don't know. Oh man, that would be a big score. That would be a big score to get a snake. Uh, also add something a little bit different to my diet because I got a feeling we're gonna be eating a lot of fish. We're gonna have to keep our eyes peeled. We're gonna have to be careful too because if we get bit by a venomous snake, it's a long way to the hospital. Oh hey, check it. Somebody's actually like beat a path this way. Oh, check it out. Look at this. Look at this. Now, here's a find. A bobber. Does it float? Hey, that still works. We can use anything that we find on the island. Like this. We're keeping that. That's, that's a good score right there. I have no bobbers with me. But putting like one of those little jigs on a bobber and throwing it out there and just like letting the waves bounce it up and down. Yeah, that's... That is not a bad idea at all. All right, guys, we've explored the whole eastern side of the island now. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna double back and we're gonna go first off, see if we can maybe locate that snake again. Uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and get a fishing rod and then start making our way around the island again, but throwing a lure. Oh, you know, here's that little, that little cutaway. More bones right there. Something looks like probably a fish. Oh, what is this? What is this? Now this is the total opposite end of the island, guys. Wow, whoa. Look at, now this. This is a campground right here. Wow. Got wood. Obviously somebody used these for seats. Good fire pit right there and everything. Man, it's deeper over here along this side. Like it drops off pretty fast. Be good fishing. See, there's a big, big tree right out there that's good top water fish in there definitely good top water fish in there especially in the morning you know since we're set up on the other side already i'd have to load everything into my kayak and, and paddle it over here i think we'll stay on the other side for now but this this is really nice oh wow look at this i didn't even notice this look somebody has like clothes lines for drying stuff out look at that wow like somebody's got or had really nice camp here like somebody's taking care of this too like it's cleaned out of of you know weeds and stuff like that this is a nice nice little spot but we might come back and like grab some of this firewood here i'm mean, gonna that burn real nice probably just leave the stump somebody's obviously like brought those out for seats but that's a score that's a score all right let's go ahead and put a backpack together fishing rod together see if we can get some dinner here Check that out. One of those little Powerball or whatever. What is that called? It's not Powerball. They're called Fireballs. I'm gonna put this on a bobber. Do I still have that bobber? Try drifting this around some of the weed mats and the wood that we've seen. See if we can score some bluegill or some shell cracker or something like that. At least to get us started for the day. All right, got some wood. Got a weed mat right over there. I think this is a good spot to start. Here we go. Okay, so the bobber's holding up so far. That's good. There's a bite. Oh, shoot. That bobber really took off to the side there. Let's see if we've still got bait. My guess is the one thing that they're gonna be after is that little egg. There you go. Little egg back on, first bite. That's a good sign. Good sign. Let's get it out there a little bit deeper beyond the weed mat there. Yeah, there's a bite. Come on, come on, come on. Eat it, eat it. Hmm. Oh, a couple small bites, that's it. Let's head to the next spot. Another nice little weed mat right here. Just gonna get this right beyond it. Let it drift by. That bobber's just barely big enough to get the job done, but it's getting the job done. Oh, missed him, dang it. He's on there. Dang it. <clears throat> Uh, guys, trying to time to find some new structure. The fish around this one are just too small. They've eaten probably about eight little pieces of that fireball. Here we go. All right, it's time to switch. 
Got this little shallow running Strike Pro Cranky X. I'm gonna throw this out there a little bit. We need something. I those little fireballs, they're awesome. I'm getting bites, but like that's all I'm getting. Bites. The brim just aren't big enough to to get their mouths around it. And I've used up probably about 15 of them so far. And it's starting to make me a little bit nervous because this is the first evening I'm here and I'm like, I can't use, like, I feel like that's going to be my bread and butter bait right there. Oh, I just saw a gar hit the surface over there. I take a gar, would a gar eat this? I don't know, maybe. See, I need some cut bait. I need to be able to get some cut bait so I can get it out on the bottom. I'm beginning to realize that this is going to be a lot harder than I thought. It's six o'clock in the evening. I'm starting to feel hungry and I, I have nothing. I have nothing to show for it. All right, time for the mini top water. Been nice and shady on this side. Oh, there's a bite. Oh, God. oh shoot, oh, I missed him. Dang it, dang it, right there. Right there on the top water. I don't know what it was. There, see, oh got him, got him, right there. What is it, what is it, what is it? Come on. Ah oh, man, it's a small large mouth, small large mouth. You can't keep that. Dang it. It's a pretty little bass though. Okay, we've got the skunk out of the boat. That's a good sign. Let's see if there are any bigger ones out here. There we go. First fish of the challenge. Comes pretty late into the challenge, but hey, it's a fish. All right guys, so I just double checked the size limit for largemouth bass here in South Carolina. And yeah, you can keep any size. So we get to get that last one, even though it was only like seven inches long, but it would have been fine for, for bait, for some lines out in the water. That was dumb. I just assumed in Idaho, it's just got to be 12 inches. So I just kind of assumed that was kind of a thing, but it makes sense. There are so many more fish in the lakes around here that, but you can only keep five. We can't, that was dumb. Hopefully we can get another one, but I mean, it's good to know now, but uh, we just, we just threw back bait. Can't, can't do that. That was, that was dumb. Goodness. I uh, just got to keep fishing. Let's get another one. There we go. Been wanting to fish this side. That sun's down. We've got about 20 minutes or so to fish this good with decent light. Honestly, it's a game changer now. Oh, oh shoot. It's a game changer that uh, you can keep the small bass. That's, that's huge. It is, oh, got him, got him, right there. Got him, come on, come on, what is it, what is it, what is it? Yes, 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 yes. Look at this, look at this, okay. Small brim, we would catch a brim on a top water. Look at that, look at that. That's like one of those sunfish. Okay, sweet. All right, now what I'm gonna do though, is we've got a window here. Look at that. Oh, that's bait, that's called catfish bait right there. Okay, 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 we're putting something together now. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna dispatch him really quickly. All right, we killed him. I'm gonna put him under a couple rocks, that way nothing can get him. We're gonna keep fishing, because I can't waste this daylight right now. I can't waste this daylight. Let's make sure there's nothing more right down here. Make sure there weren't a couple of them. Oh, guys, that's so big. That's so big to have some cut bait. Okay. Okay, come on. Let's see, we got anything else, though? Any any dinner-sized fish out here? I mean, that cut bait, there's a good chance that leads to a dinner-sized fish, but boy, it sure would be nice to score a, like a nice-sized largemouth. Anything off this point out here? Oh, there's one. Something just hit it. Come on. Oh! Right there, that wasn't, that wasn't a, that wasn't a brim. That wasn't a brim. Oh, come on, baby. That was a big bass. Come on, come on. You can't just blow up and leave. Well guys, pretty much done for now. We're losing light pretty fast. It'll be probably completely dark in about 10 minutes, but we did get this right here. Little pumpkin seed. We can get about four or five good strips off of that guy right there. So we're gonna go ahead and cut him up. See what we have for hooks. I think we might have to put it on like one of those bigger jig heads. We're gonna toss a couple of these out. 
see if the catfish are cruising. Fortunately, it seems like there's a lot of good sand, a lot of good like shell and sand mixture on this side of the island. So if the catfish are gonna be out, like this would be the area they'd be in. So I don't know, hopefully cross our fingers because obviously that's not lunch or supper. All right, so over here, I have the head of the bluegill there. You can see and it's through a nice big treble hook that I actually took out of this little stinker catfish uh, teardrop lure things. So I just went ahead and I took the, the treble hook out of that, hooked this guy up, and then what we've done is I've attached it to some line that I took off of one of my fishing rods. And then now I've just come over here just take this, just throw it out, and what I've done is the line is actually attached to this tree limb right here. So this is going to shake and it'll actually give a little bit too, like a fishing rod would. And we just hope something eats it. And we've I've moved down about, like I said, probably about 20, maybe 25 yards from where camp is. So this is what I'm talking about, about like doubling, tripling my efforts. So, I don't know, we'll see guys, we'll see. This is, a, this is a good start though. This is what I'm hoping for. All right, I took, well, I had a little swivel in actually the other um, catfish setup. So this has like a bunch of like, there's a sponge down there. I'm gonna just like goop this all. This is that night crawler scent. I'm gonna just put this all over this. You know what, I'm just, I'm, I'm pulling out all the stops. I'm using everything that I have at my disposal right now. We're gonna go ahead and throw this one out there like we did with that uh, with that bluegill head. Just tie it to a tree limb here. It just have something else working for us. That's all that counts. Every line out is an extra chance of being able to eat something. <sighs> all right, guys, we have two lines out. We have two like lines hooked to trees out. I'm getting ready to go and do a little uh, snake slash frog hunting. I've got the trident here with me. And we're gonna go ahead and go out. See if we see anything. Okay, check this out, check this out. Not a snake, but it's a crawdad or crawfish. Got it. That's a nice sized one too. It's a decent sized one. Now here's, here's my dilemma. I didn't technically catch, catch him with subscriber bait. But now uh, the challenge is eat only what I catch using stuff subscribers gave me. And since I didn't catch this guy with something subscribers gave me, I feel like he's off limits. Or is that just getting too technical at this point? I don't know. I don't know. We'll even be there. I'm not going to lie, guys. I want to bend the rules a little bit. I am hungry. This one right here. Man, like another edible sized one. Look at that. And there's another one right here. And they're all out tonight. Look at that. That's a big one. That's the biggest one I've seen tonight. Dang it. Urgh. Man, we could just be picking them up. Put a crawdad boil together. Oh, this kills me. Look at that. Yeah, another edible one too. Good eating size. Dang it. Guys, look at that. It's a big large mouth. It's probably like two pounds. I kid you not. Oh, there's a gar. He's swimming right towards me. Oh my goodness. Look at that. A gar and a bass. Oh my word. I wonder if I dropped, if I dropped a jig down in front of it, if he'd eat it. All right, there we go, guys. A little white head. Little black, little red match those crawdads that are crawling around. And I think we're gonna go do too. Add a little of this night crawler garlic scent to it. Largemouth are notorious for loving the old garlic scent. So we'll go ahead and add a little to the body there. Let's see if we can get something on that right there. I mean, it looks good. Come on, let's go do a little sight fishing at night. Oh, there's a largemouth right over by that stump there. Another, like, just like another, like, two pounder. Couldn't get that large mouth to bite. It doesn't bode well. I get the big light that's shining right in his face. <laughs> Check this out, guys. Little turtles hanging out. Look at him. 
Oh, there he goes, there he goes. Taking off. We got, oh, there's another one right down here. It's chilling. If they were snapping turtles, I'd eat them. But, alas and alas, they are not. I think it's illegal to eat those guys right there. <sighs> well, there was nothing there, guys. I'm gonna come check our lines here. Hold up, why does this look tight? Wait a second. Hold up, guys, I think we got one. I think we got one. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Do we have one? Oh, I think we have one on this line. This was on the stink bait. This was on the stink bait. Yeah, we got one. Oh, yes, we got one. It's a catfish. It's a catfish. Looks like it. Oh, come on, baby. Oh, come on, baby. Oh, come on. Oh, this is supper. This is, oh, it's a nice one. It's a nice one. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No, 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 don't, don't even think about it. Yes, oh, oh, yes, yes, it worked, it worked. Oh, my word, yes, oh, my goodness, hallelujah, we are going to eat, I am starving, oh, yes, oh, my word, it it worked. I was walking up to the line. I was like, man, that looks tight, but I don't know. Oh, oh, and there are steaks to be had off of that. Oh, oh my word. We better check our other one. Okay, I've just beat the catfish over the head with a rock. We're gonna go check our other line. Oh, it doesn't look very tight. In fact, it's quite loose. I don't know. How did this make it? all the way back in. Why is my line all the way back under here? What in the world has happened? Guys, my line is under the log. And I threw it out. I know I threw it out. My line is all the way back in. And it's under the log that we threw off of. Wait a second. Hold up, wait a second. What do I have? Wait, guys. Guys, I think I've caught a snake. I kid you not. Oh my heavens, I've caught a snake. I've caught a water snake. Oh my word. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that right there. Look. That's a big water snake. Yeah, come out this way, you goober. Hey! People told me water snake is good. He ain't gonna bite me because he's got a big old mouth full of treble hook. Look at that though. Look how big this thing is. Good grief. This thing's probably like, I don't know. It's big. Are you kidding me? Oh, yeah. So we have one catfish and one water snake tonight. Oh my word. This is nuts. Definitely not, uh, you could tell us about, tell by the eyes, doesn't have, uh, doesn't have those eyes like a, um, uh, doesn't have those nasty looking eyes. Look at that, he's just trying to consume that whole, look at that, he's trying to down that thing. Dude, that, that ain't gonna work. You know what, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and kill this guy. I was like, so here's the, here's the log. This is the tree I was on. And like my line should have been way out there, Summers. But then my line's all the way under the log and I'm like, uh, what? And this guy swam out there and ate it. Look, look at that, look, he's eating it. Look at that. Oh my heavens. Guys, look at that. One snake and one nice catfish. Oh. We're gonna eat tonight. It is 10 o'clock and we have finally some supper. Let's get our snake cleaned up. Let's get this guy filleted up too. And then the first thing actually what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean both of these and get both of the hooks out of their mouths. And we're gonna get those lines back out there because the sooner that they're back out there, you know, just the more that they can be working for us. So yes, we're gonna eat, we're gonna eat. Yeah. First thing we're gonna do we're gonna take off the head of this snake. This snake is dead. I crushed its head with a rock. Snakes are notorious though for having a lot of uh, 
spunk. There. Head's gone. Would you stop moving? Good night of living. Just let me finish you here. You're almost done. I'm gonna peel that skin off. There we go. Now we got it started. Now that skin just comes right off. Like so. And as you can see, he's still moving around. Even though his head's gone, his skin's gone. Like there ain't nothing about this snake that's alive anymore. Sweet. I'm gonna just go clean him off in the water. We'll be pretty much good to go here. Time to get cooking. We got both our lines back out. This is the only bit of cooking stuff that I brought. It was just some canola oil. We're gonna start with some catfish. Oh, yeah, that's hot. Holy cow. Woo. Oh, and that's too hot. Turn it down. So I think we're gonna start with some Penzi's Cajun seasoning. Go tried and true here. Cajun on catfish. It's the old go-to. You know, I was excited for that Zaxby's meal. Pretty sure I'm more excited about this right now. <laughs> oh, what a day. A long-awaited meal, ladies and gentlemen. Whenever I go out and do these challenges, I try to time my meals because there's nothing worse than going to bed hungry. So what I try to do, wait till late at night, eat, get a full belly, then go to sleep. Look at that, look at this fashion. Look at the boots with the swimming suit, showing a little, little thigh, getting a little risque here on High Adventure videos. All right, for the last treat of the day, on goes our snake. We're gonna add a little Goya adobo, all-purpose with pepper seasoning. There you go. As many of you know, I've eaten copperhead before. I caught and killed a copperhead that was much smaller than this on my property. I've also been told that if you can deep fry them, then you can just eat the ribs too. You don't even have to worry about like picking through the ribs. There's definitely some meat there. I mean, there's not a ton. Well, right as I say that now, I'm like stripping off a bunch of meat. There you go. Yeah. Water snake is definitely good. I'm glad I ate it. There we go. There's some more meat. Yeah. Every little bit helps. Now there's real no easy way of getting in and out of here. Oh. oh guys, I'm not gonna lie to you. It was a pretty pretty rough start to the day. But we rallied and we were able to turn that little pumpkin seed into some real food. I'm gonna call it a night, so I'm gonna slip back into this pup pit here. I'll catch you guys in the morning. Good morning, YouTube fam. I almost overslept. I gotta get up and get breakfast. Or attempt to anyway. I think I've got a small leak in the old air mattress because it turned into a hammock last night. Uh, perfect. Sun's not out yet, but it's gonna be here in about 15 minutes. Let's grab that top water. It is a wee bit nippy this morning. Oh, whew. Must be a tournament either happening or getting ready to happen. They're flying around. Man, guys, nothing. I haven't even gotten a blow up. If they were hitting this, we should have had something. I don't want to waste a bunch of time on it either. Guys, we got one on the top water. 
on the top water. I just made one random little cast. It's a large mouth. It's a large mouth. I made a small cast. Oh, oh no, no. Stay down. Oh, come on. Come on. No, no, no. Come on. Perfect. Right on the head. I was just like, oh, hey, I'm going to make a cast over this way. Just for fun. Yes. Yes. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. I was walking back. Oh my heavens, look at that, he just gobbled it. I was walking back to, to change out, uh, to, to change, I was gonna go for the jerk bait. I was just like, I wanna make a little cast out there really quickly. I had the camera off, of course, but oh my word, he just came up, I mean, just boom, blew up on it. It's probably about a pound and a quarter. Look at that, just choked that little white top water down. Oh, yes, that's breakfast. That's breakfast right there. Nice. This took a rock to his head. Like I said, I don't typically like eating largemouth, but when you have no breakfast, lunch, or supper for the day, I'll take that. Nice. We're gonna get back out there. We gotta keep seeing if we can get some more. Maybe we can get lunch too while we're at it. All right, guys. So I've switched from the top water. Haven't had any more bites. We've worked it pretty thoroughly for about the last 45 minutes or so after that last bass. I've got this sweet little jerk bait. It's got like a green, green top to it. Silver body, red eyes. We're gonna go ahead and work this around a little bit. Guys, I got one. Got one on this, on the jerk bait. Oh, it's another baby. What is it? It's a baby pumpkin seed. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, okay. Come on, get him up to the bank. Get him up to the bank. Do not fall off. Yes. Oh, that's bait. That's bait right there. Check it out. I've never been so excited for such a small fish. Perfect. Look at that. Awesome. That. That's much needed. Because we're out of the bait that we used last night. We're just going to take this rock. Kill him. Oh, no, no. No, no. Yeah. Woo. There. All right. He's dead. You know, in fact, what we're going to do, I want to keep fishing. Put this rock on top of him. Like so. We're going to keep going. Nice, let's go. It's two this morning. Guys, we got one. Got another one. Got another one. Right here. Right here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Look at that. Oh, that's a bluegill, guys. That's a certified bluegill. Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Man, we're getting close to eating size with that size right there. All right. Not a bad morning fishing. A little bit of cut bait right there. That's breakfast. And then I was able to keep this guy alive still. So we're gonna try to keep him fresh if we can. Gotta keep him in that bucket, keep the water cleaned out. In fact, actually we're gonna move this away from the lake a little bit because fish have been hard to come by. Go ahead and get this guy cleaned up and get eaten this morning. And what I was just gonna do is take, take the head off. I'm just gonna gut him. I'll keep the guts too, I guess. Never know. Get that body cavity all cleaned out. Have a nice big chunk of meat right there. It's a nice size one. That's awesome. I actually went ahead and scaled the bass so we can eat the skin too. I'm using this uh, Shields Outfitters Southern Style Seafood. Yeah, that's nice. That's a good fat bass. We're gonna have a good breakfast this morning. I think it's pretty well cooked. You guys go. I'm not gonna lie, this has been tougher than I thought. Like, I have just been fishing my guts out. Man, that seasoning's really good. Nothing like a little morning bass breakfast. It's been a long time since I've eaten largemouth, actually. So I kind of forgot to mention this. Maybe I did, I, for, I may, I'll mention it again. I kind of also made the rule for this challenge that I have to stay on the island. So like, I can't get in my kayak and go out like I don't just trying to make it a little more challenging it would be a lot easier if I could go out in the kayak because then I could drop like my jigs down and stuff but that's part of the challenge you gotta stay stay on the land so here's my setup guys I couldn't quite show you last night because it was kind of dark but Here's that little bait ball thingy-majigger. I've got that garlic nightcrawler scent all over it. 
Now the problem with this though has been is that this floats but I have the swivel up here and what I've actually done is I've actually just attached a broken clamshell to it. That way the clamshell will sink and bring this to the bottom. But of course, since this floats, it kind of floats up off the bottom, stays off the bottom about a foot. So that's been, that's what we got the catfish on last night. Nothing today so far, but I'm just gonna throw it out there. Keep it out there, may as well. This line got the head of one of the little bluegill we caught this morning on that jerk bait. Big treble hook. Just do the same thing, just throw it right out. Maybe we'll get a big old gar on that one. That'd be awesome. There's two lines out though, doubling our efforts. Hold up, guys, hold up. Oh, no, are we already getting a bite? Guys, we're getting bit. We're getting bit on it. Oh yeah, we're totally getting bit. We got it. We got one, guys. We got one. We got one. It just barely hit the bottom. I don't know. What is it? What is it? Whatever it is, it's lunch. It's running right towards me, whatever it is. I have no idea what this is. Another big catfish? I don't know. Guys, I, it just hit the bottom. I just threw it out like 30 seconds ago. I kid you not. What is it? What do we have? Oh, it's a gar. It's a gar. It's a big gar. It's a big gar. Come here. Look at this. Look at this. We got a big gar. We got a big old gar. Look at this. Come on. No, 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 no. Yes. 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 We did it. <laughs> yes. Oh, my word. It just, guys, it barely hit the bottom. It was out there like 30 seconds. All of a sudden, I look over and my line's tight. And I was like, wait, what? And then it slacked and it picked up again. Yes! That is a lot of meat. Come take a look at this. Look at this. Look at this. One of my last videos. I'm sure a lot of you guys saw it. I did my first ever gar catch and cook. That's about three feet long right there three feet long and there's a lot of meat all along the sides of that take a look at these teeth right here look at that wouldn't want to tangle with that. yeah i know i don't want to tangle with that get back over here oh uh, that that is a big score right there i've actually haven't eaten gore just regular plain but we're going to today Look at those teeth, guys, we got really lucky because uh, like that's only eight pound test line off of my fishing rod and it could have very easily snapped that line. Very fortunate that we got this one, got this one when we did. That's a lot of good meat. That's, that's lunch and supper. See, we were able to take that small jerk bait, turn it into bait, turn that bait into some lunch. No, oh, we're gonna go dispatch him really quickly here. Excuse me. All right, guys. Beat him over the head. You can see we got him bleeding out. Kind of gruesome, but it's it really is the best way to, to get all the blood out of the meat, especially since we're gonna eat him here. I put a rock on his tail. That way it keeps the bleeding out process going in the water, but he doesn't float away. I do have something that I can put through this armor so we can actually clean it, but, oh, beautiful fish. I decided while we let that fish bleed out, we're going to go ahead and explore our island a little bit further. I noticed there's a path that kind of cuts through the jungle a little bit here. So we're going to just kind of look around, see what there is to see. Oh, which way do we go? Goes that way or that way? You know, let's go, let's go this way. Well, I've discovered that this is a dead end. Let's go the other way. This island's actually quite long. Much longer than you would think it is. Oh my word, look at this. Look at, oh, that's nasty. We gotta be careful, check this out. Look at this guy. Look how big that spider is. Isn't that gnarly? I mean, that's probably like three inches across. 
It's one of those big like cat spiders. We called them corn spiders or whatever in uh, in Idaho because you see them in the corn a lot. Get around the other side of this web. Get a load of that thing. I don't even like getting close to it because I feel like it's all suddenly like jump at me. Imagine getting a face full of that when you're walking around at night. I've almost done that a time or two because they string their webs between the trees and the bushes. Fortunately, I looked up and uh, and caught it right before <laughs> right before it went right into my face. Kind of hoping maybe I get lucky and there be like some berry bushes or something, but I don't know. Anything under this rotting log? Nope. Oh, this is lovely. Check this out. Y you love this. You would have been better off just leaving the poop. And not, like, if there was a running for idiot of the year, this has to be, like, a top five. Like, I followed the letter of the law. I picked up the droppings. And then I just discard, like, I... I can't even. People are so stupid. Oh my heavens. Good grief. I thought this was the tip of the island right back here. No. No, it goes on like another 100 yards, 150 yards. Wow, this is big. Check this out. Look at all the ants. There's like, I thought it was like a fire ant hill. I just like popped it. And then all of a sudden, we had movement. These are worse than like mosquitoes on the island. Like nobody's like, like the mosquitoes are fine. Don't really have to worry much about that because the, there are so many birds on the islands. They eat the mosquitoes, but the ants, these are what get you right here. That's a big old ant hill too for not even being a fire ant hill. Good grief. Oh, we found a little path again here. Oh, what's this? Oh, check this out. Somebody's been here. Look at that, it's still smoldering. Somebody was here last night, I didn't even know it. Left their orange here. What is this? An MRE? Menu one, chili with beans. Huh, it's pinned to the tree. And there is a hot dog below it that the ants are happily eating. I didn't even know somebody else was out here. Huh. I don't see anybody. Besides a random boat passing by. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do, though, is take some of this wood. We're pillaging from the other campsite. <laughs> Actually, the, when I came here yesterday, there were all those big round pieces of wood. I thought somebody was using them to sit on. Obviously not. Somebody's using them for a fire. So, I kind of doubt they'll care. They're obviously not here anymore. Well, either they're not here anymore or they're coming back. Seems kind of odd they left an MRE here. We've got a couple of nice pieces of wood here for a fire later. I do need to collect more firewood. I think we're gonna go ahead and head on back. I don't know if I wanna be here if, they, if the people who were here come back. I don't know. I don't know if they will or not, but let's get out of here. Oh, a couple more pieces of wood. Hold up, we're gonna take this too. All right, time for a little lunch. I brought my wire cutters, because I thought just in case I catch a gar, I'm gonna need to be able to clean it. Now I've had some people recommend a few other tools for this job because the wire cutters, like they technically get it done, but it's pretty slow going. So definitely have to upgrade my tool game for the old gar cleaning here. All right, we've made our cut all the way down the back on either side of the gills. Now, we just have to extract the meat. Cut it away from the armory skin here. There we go, look at that. <laughs> That's awesome. There we go, look at that. Some meat, we're just gonna lay right down in the pan. Ooh. We're gonna use some of this Goya adobo, lemon and pepper. You guys, it's interesting, like, 
I definitely don't have the same energy as I typically do in regular videos. Ouch. Dang it, a horse fly again. That has to be like four videos in a row. A horse fly has gotten after me. So we've been going at this for a little over 24 hours now. We've eaten decently, just not consuming the, the typical amount of food that I would on a daily basis. I could definitely tell like my energy level, probably half of what it normally would be. Dang horse fly. About to go ape on this guy here. Here we go. Oh, are you serious? Look at this, guys. Look at this. You know what that is? Well, first off, it's litter, but it's the piece to a Hershey's bar wrapper. Oh man, I could go for a Hershey's bar right now. The lemon pepper seasoning is really, really good. It's definitely a chewier texture. The texture isn't the best, but I don't care. Ouch, it's food. These guys are taking chunks out of me. And the best part of it is, I have two whole sides of that. Two big old steaks. I've just about had it with these horse flies. We're getting in the tent. We're getting out. We're getting out of here, Scoob. I think, since I didn't get very good sleep last night, I think we are gonna crawl in here, take a quick siesta. Catch you guys after my nap. Oh my goodness. Guys, maybe napping during the hottest part of the day wasn't the greatest idea. I'm hot. We might have to go jump in. Oh my goodness. I am toasty. Ugh. Still got bait. You know what? I almost forgot. We still got a fish snack over here. A little late afternoon food. Oh yeah, kept it covered. We just skipped the formalities of a plate here. Mm. Mm. Gar is good. can see sun is starting to set I have been throwing everything I've been throwing flukes chatterbaits jigs just nothing ever since that uh, ever since we caught the brim on the jerkbait just haven't haven't been able to score anything else so I've got my two drop lines out my catfishing lines out so hopefully those will produce something fingers crossed we produce something here because so far uh, one small brim is the only thing on the menu for supper tonight There's one. Got it. Got him right there. Right there. Come on. Come on. Come on. A little late night bass. Come on. It's not very big, but I'll eat it. I'll eat it 100%. Okay, come on up. There we go. All right. Yes. Probably like nine inches long. I kid you not. There we go. Yes. That's, that's food though. Look at that. Cut the head off right there. Three bites that side, three bites that side. Yes! Okay, this is good, this is good. Okay, we just dispatched him with a rock. We're gonna get this back in there, just in case. Because sometimes, when they're that size, they school. <sighs> That's something. It's a snack, at least. <laughs> Makes me happy. Okay, well, couldn't get anything else to bite. But we added one thing so far this evening. It's better than nothing. Let's get back. I wanna make a fire tonight. I didn't make one last night because it was quite warm, but it's been a little bit cooler today. And I just, I don't know. I feel like when you're camping, you have to make a fire at some point.
All right, we're gonna have our fire lake side here. We're gonna do something a little different. I have one of these little fire starters here. Like you strike, let me see if I can do it here. It gives spark and I've always wanted to try to make a fire this way. So by golly, we're gonna try it right now. See if we can get a fire going without a match using one of our fire starters here. <gasps> wait, wait, there's a fire. There's some flame. Come on. Come on. Wait, wait, there, there it is. We did it. Oh, come on, come on. Come on. Yes. Oh, come on. Come on. <laughs> we did it. We made fire. Okay, gotta keep it going though. Gotta keep it going, come on. <laughs> Look at that guys. Look at that. I don't mean to brag, but uh, I just made fire. Come to life. I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty cool. This is pretty cool. Like. Our first time ever too. I mean, ignore the fact it probably took about 25 minutes to finally get to this point. High adventure videos creates fire. You know, we might just go ahead and cook our, uh, cook our bass over the fire tonight. That's what I'm thinking. Well, final meal of the day, guys, right here. Little nine, 10 inch bass. I just have not gotten any bites on, on any of the catfishing rods. It's been a long, slow, hungry night. There's not a lot of meat, but there's enough. Well, that is it for day number two. I could tell I'm still hungry, like, but I'm just, I gotta get to bed fast so I don't think about it, but I want Krispy Kreme donuts and I want some hot homemade vegetable beef soup. Ugh, I can't think about it. I can't think about it. I'll catch you guys in the morning. Let's finish this thing off strong, hopefully. <laughs> I've just been awakened to the Star Spangled Banner. <laughs> the launch ramp is right over here, maybe about a mile. And someone's blasting the Star Spangled Banner. Oh wait, that must mean there's a bass tournament going on. <laughs> I was like, what in the world is that? <sighs> Alright guys, final half day. What does it look like out there? I have no breakfast. Well, I do have one brim Ugh. the air mattress in the tent was a great idea but it just takes up too much space make a note of that for next time oh. Oh. i'm trying to resurrect our fire here guys there's some coal right there there's some coal right there <laughs> oh. Yes, 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 yes. There we go. I wanted to get this going because it's gonna be chilly being in and out of the water this morning. I wanted to make sure that we had a little something to get warm by. Nice. Come on, come on, eat it. Dang it, eat it. Oh shoot, it was right there. Come on. Got him, right there. Yes. What is it? It is a little bluegill. Hey, I'll take it, I'll take it, I'll take it. Look at that on the top. Oh, actually, like I foul hooked him. Look at that. Look at that. Like, it's one of those pumpkin seeds again. Look, <laughs> check that out. 
Hey, I'll take it. There you go. Got our little jerk bait back out. If I can get like three or four of those, we'd actually be in business. There's one right there. Just hit it. Just hit it right by the bank. There's another one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay, now we're putting something together. Another little one. Yes, yes, yes. I'll take it. There you go. I mean, at the very least, that's fresh bait for a potential gar later this morning. There's one right there. Man, just came up and nailed it again. Yes. It's kind of sad, but I'm hungry. Oh, got him right there. Something just came up and slurped it. What do we got? Oh, another one. Oh, hey, that's a little bigger too. That's a little bigger. I didn't even, I didn't even see the hit. Breakfast is shaping up. I'm still like hoping that I'm gonna get smashed by a big old large mouth. <sighs> but you know, there's, there are a few bites right there. I'll take it. Go out a little deeper here. Right off this point. This is the end of the island. Any big large mouth cruising? Just come and bust up on a small minnow. Struggling minnow. Trying to get back to the shallows, but is caught precariously out in the depths. Okay, apparently not. That's okay. Oh, let's go ahead and head on back. It's breakfast time. I'm starving. All right. Here is breakfast. Which actually, now that I look at it, that's actually a decent amount of fish right there after they're all cleaned. And I even scaled them too. You have to scale them or else those little tiny scales get all in your mouth and ugh. And for this breakfast, I use some of the Penzi Spice, some of the Ruth Ann's. It says good for chicken and fish. So we'll find out. Ugh. Nothing like a good brim morning breakfast. There you go. Got four of them. That seasoning is good. Another solid Penzi spice seasoning. We've almost done it, YouTube fam. Got about two hours left. So one thing I do want to say is that I have tried a lot of the baits that you guys sent me. I just wasn't able to catch anything. And obviously that's not your fault. There are literally probably hours of footage of me using crankbaits. I even used a crankbait this morning, didn't catch anything. Using jigs, using spinners. I mean, I, I threw it all. I threw it all and we ate not that bad. What did we eat? Gosh, we've eaten like everything. We've had gar, catfish, bass, brim, and a snake. I don't know, this is like a pretty well balanced diet to me. Hmm. Woohoo! Oh, we did it! <laughs> we did it! Oh. We survived! Oh, oh guys! Oh. I almost went for the shallow dive, but then realized it was much too shallow. I've had three other lines out, all with fresh cut bait, and I feel really lucky now that we got what we got on that cut bait because since that gar yesterday at around about this time, I mean, it has just been absolutely nothing. Zero. Oh, wait, let me show you. Let me show you. Here we go, here we go. There you go. Saturday, September 25th, 5th, 12, 31, 24 hours. Oh, oh my word. Thank you to all the subscribers that have sent me stuff. Thank you for all the lures and everything. We did it. We did it. That was awesome. Enough celebrating. Let's go get some lunch. Let's pack up. Go get some something other than fish. Oh yeah, we're back. You would have bonus swim meal barbecue and extra zack sauce. That's me. Total 787. Oh yeah, I gotta pay for it. That'd probably be good. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Thanks, man. Have a good day. Yeah, you too. Thanks. The angel sang. Look at that big, juicy fry. Sack spa sauce. Mm. 
I love that sack sock. Thank you again so much to all the subscribers that have sent me stuff. If you want to send me anything, write in the description below of all my videos, including this one. I have a P.O. box that you can send stuff to. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for hanging out with me for the last 48 hours. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Come here, you voluptuous fry. Huh? Mm.